Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. Yes, indeed, folks. Sampler platter video series of videos I've been doing for the while now. We're going over there to try out food and drink items. <clears throat> Excuse me. I eat the stuff, I drink something, folks. I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that at the time I'm doing this, folks, this review was supposed to be an entirely different, re different review, but it's not now. We'll get into that in a moment. But yes, indeed, I'm going to eat some stuff. I'm going to talk about it whilst I'm doing so I'm inside the truck. I'm also wearing a cool shirt. Folks, when I wear a cool shirt, I like to highlight the cool shirt. What cool shirt am I wearing? Well, it's pretty obvious. Boom! My Soul Share shirt. Which is hard to say. Soul Share shirt. Uh, yes. Uh, Soul Share, they, uh, they were a local Illinois band. Um, extremely good dudes. I ran into them. They were... One of the openers uh, for a show that I was at ended up going over there and kind of talking with them. I went to go see him a couple times. All of them extremely cool dudes. Uh, sadly, they're no longer you know, functionally a band at this point. Kind of split off, done their own little things. But really good dudes. I actually have some videos of performances of theirs that I attended on this very channel. And uh, their stuff is still, I think, available on like Bandcamp and stuff like that, just in case you want to go over there and take a look. They are a really good band, especially if you... S I, I always sort of associate them with sort of like a... Uh, kind of like a Maynard kind of sound, like Toolish. And I'm not even that big of a Tool fan. I like them okay, but I actually really like what these guys did. So, anyway. So what review was I supposed to do that led to this review? So I decided, just kind of at random, that I was going to go over there and do sort of a Lent special, because that's the time that we're doing this. It's the whole Lent thing. People often give up, like, you know, red meat and stuff, and a lot of times they go for fish. It's a thing, I think. And so I went over there yesterday. I did a couple of items from Culver's. I did a uh, walleye sandwich and some jumbo shrimp. Go watch those videos if you're interested. And it got me thinking about one of their direct competitors, that specifically being Freddy's. And so Freddy's, they're very much in the same vein as Culver's. They, they kind of style themselves as being a little bit more upscale fast food. And I've done a couple things of theirs over the years. I did like a hot chocolate or frozen hot chocolate uh, shake. Uh, I did like a jalapeno burger and like something else, I think. Chicken sandwich. I did one of their chicken sandwiches. So I looked up their website, and they're like, oh, yeah, no, we have a deluxe fish sandwich going on right now. So, boom, let's do this. So I made my way out. I get to the, uh, you know, get to the drive through menu, and I'm looking for it, and I'm just not seeing it. But I think, okay, maybe it's one of those things where, like, you know, because it's on the website, it says it's available. And I'm like, maybe it's just not on the, the outdoor menu yet. You know, sometimes that's the case. So I went over there and I was like, eh? And they're like, no, nah, we don't have it. I'm like, all right, well, fuck it. So as it turns out, there was a Wendy's right across the street and they've got a fish sandwich. And I get to the thing and it's not on the menu. And I'm like, motherfucker, really? Seriously, is that what's happening right now? But in this case, no, it turns out that it was available. It's just they didn't have the display up yet. But anyway, so what am I trying for y'all? We're doing boom, it's from Wendy's. It's a fish sandwich. In fact, it says, we caught Alaskan fish. This is their Panko Deluxe Fish Sandwich or what the hell ever. I'll go over there. I'll put the proper title on the thing. Fish sandwich. Now, here's the thing. I don't think I've ever had a fish sandwich from Wendy's, ever. I like Wendy's. I've reviewed some stuff from Wendy's over the years. They're just not typically a place I think of when I think of fish. So, fish sandwich. It kind of looks like a cross between something you would get from uh, Culver's and something that you would get from McDonald's, you know, a.k.a. the filet of fish It's square, but it does appear to have like a, a little bit more prominent coating than the filet of fish So we'll, we'll see. And it looks like it's got maybe some tartar sauce. It looks like a decent amount of tartar sauce. Uh, and then... Just for sake of a thumbnail. Ha ha ha! Thumbnail. So let's try a fish sandwich from Wendy's. Mm. 
it's exactly like I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, um, it's like a slightly more upscale version of the filet of fish. Like seriously, the the flavor is similar. Um, the breading has more flavor. It has more of a crunch to it. But yeah. Mmm, no. Fuck no. I am not doing pickles. Oh my god. You people and your pickles. Stop it. I already have to deal with them on chicken sandwiches. I am not having pickles on a goddamn fish sandwich. That's not happening. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. Breading's crispy. It's a pretty flavorful fish sandwich for what it is. Cheese comes through nicely for what it is. Um, the my only point of contention would be the tartar sauce. I think I've just been spoiled by McDonald's tartar sauce. I'm not saying it's like the greatest tartar sauce ever, but it's the one that I'm most familiar with when it comes to a fast food chicken sandwich. And say what you will, it's got some flavor to it. This one, it's there. It gives it sort of that little extra tang. But it, it's not as it's not as heavy as the, uh, the McDonald's one, so you don't get as much flavor from it. Fuck off with your pickles! But I mean, otherwise, yeah, like it... It genuinely feels like, feels like they went over there and took basically like the, the breading from something like Culver's and put it on a filet of fish. So it's crispier. It's got more flavor to it. Um, you know, it kind of works pretty nicely for what it is. Talk to my lunch. And when you do get a decent amount, like a decent mouthful of the tartar sauce, it's okay tartar sauce. You know, it almost feels a little bit more like a, a ranch in some ways. But, it's okay. I'll, I'll say this. Well, okay, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? No and no. Here's why. It's not a bad sandwich. Uh, perfectly fine with it for what it is. But for me personally, because it does thread that line between something like Culver's and McDonald's, I don't have a place for it. Because if I want a, you know, a higher quality uh, fish sandwich, I'll go to Culver's. I'll get their cod sandwich or their walleye sandwich. I know that's going to be, you know, fish forward. It's going to taste fresh. It's, you know, it's going to be a solid fish sandwich experience. If I just want a trashy fish sandwich for the sake of nostalgia, I'm going to get a filet of fish. That's what I'm going to do. This doesn't have a spot for me because it's just, I don't want a more upscale version of the filet of fish. I just don't. I want the filet of fish because it's, it has that nostalgia factor. It's got the tartar sauce that I like. There, you know, there's something to it. So, like I said, for me, I just, there's no spot for this in my life. Even though it's not bad. I don't hate it or anything. It's just, you know, it's not good enough to be anything that I really need to be part of. It's not bad enough to be anything that I would shun. But at the same time, it's just very in the middle. So, I wouldn't get one. And as for recommending it, it's not bad, but again, I just feel like you've already got the two sort of camps. I mean, I'll say this. If you don't have, like, a Culver's or something near you, and maybe you do want something that's a little bit more upscale from the uh, the filet of fish give it a shot. It's not bad. I just, for me, I just don't see a purpose to it. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me on this one. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of the day. Spectacular rest of the week. Monuments rest of the month. Depends for the rest of the year. And, folks, you can go over there and have yourselves a truly filet of fish tastic rest of your life <laughs> because at the end of the day i mean it's the og you can say what you want it's the og 
I don't know how far I'm going to go with this Lens Special thing. There's at least a couple other places I'm going to try out. Part of me wants to go over there and make a trek to a Long John Silver's. Because there's not a lot of them left. But man, that would be that would be a little bit of a trip. So we'll, we'll see if that happens. Anyway, final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But we do get to do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you got to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Not the easiest thing in the world to do, folks. Especially when we're over there. We're trying to get fish sandwiches from places and they don't have them even though their website says that they have that i mean what am i supposed to do with that folks what am i supposed to do with that and that's just and i have to admit i was a little hesitant about going over there and getting the fish sandwich from this particular wendy's because on two separate occasions they fucked up my order in interesting ways so i was like am i gonna order a fish sandwich and like just get a live goat. But no, I got a fish sandwich. Or a very well disguised lot of goat. And if that's the case, fuck making hamburgers and shit. You need to go into the business of making live goats look like things that aren't live goats. I don't know what business that is. Uh, but yeah, live goats aside and their discretions. It's important when we run into situations that are stressful, maybe distressing. Take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. <coughs> folks, maybe you work in the business of disguising goats as things that are not goats. Maybe this is some sort of secret sect of society that has existed since time unknown. Now, if that's the case, and I just accidentally stumbled onto your whole secret little cadre of, you know, goat hiding events, I'll just say this. Please don't assassinate me. No one takes my bullshit seriously. All hail the goat hiders. Or conversely, uh, just get yourself a filet of fish sandwich for Lent. Bye. <laughs>